What's up everybody? This is part two of my house build project. Uh, I left off with just the garage wall finished with the trim around it and the siding done. As you can see, I just went ahead and continued that pattern along all the walls. And that's all I've done off camera. All right, so jumping into it, as you can see, this floor, this foundation, when we were painting the asphalt black on the lip around the foundation, this was painted black. So in order to fix that, we got to find the problem where the line, where the lines on the foundation aren't connected. So just to find that, you want to, you want to hide the walls and then just look around. I already know where it's at. It's already, it, I've already done this. I messed up on the first video, so. Uh, it's just one corner. We need to connect this corner and wrap it around this front porch and connect it to this line right here. So jump into the foundation component and we're just going to make some some guidelines of one inch around this, around this area. So just to double check, that should be four and a half. That's your wall right there. And I'll go to this outside and go one inch. And now I'll just take your line tool and connect the appropriate corners. Once you got that done, just delete your guidelines. And now for the second part, we're going to unhide our walls and we're going to make the same, we're going to do the same thing on the inside so we can paint this floor the appropriate color. So now just jump into your foundation component again and just connect these corners of the walls and we'll go from there. All right, once that's done, your line will stop. So now all you gotta do is go to your uh, hit B for your bucket, go down to wood, and I use this wood usually on my interior floors, so I just click that, and we should be good to go. If you want to just double check, just hide your wall component, and underneath the wall you should see this black strip around the whole outside of the foundation, which is, which is what we want because that's where the walls are going to sit, so it's a nice clean look. Now unhide the walls. And now we're going to start on the roof. But before that, always want to save because I've done a lot of stuff on models and then the program craps out and then I'm stuck doing it all over again. So make sure you save a lot. All right, so now we're going to do the roof. Also, before I continue, I was doing some measurements earlier and uh, this opening, well, this wall here where our front door will be, it's not very wide. This is only three inches or three feet and five inches uh, that's not really big for a door for a front door so uh, we're gonna have to mess around with that we're gonna have to make either something to fit this opening so the trim goes from this wall over here to this wall over here uh, we'll mess with that when we get to it same with this garage door usually a two-car garage door is 17 foot uh, long and this wall isn't even 17 foot, as you can see right there. So I, I'm going to make the garage door 12 foot, just 6 foot uh, from the middle and then 6 foot from the other side. Just so it's 12 foot. I know that's not realistic, but this these videos are just showing you the techniques I do to make a real model. I apologize I didn't find a better model, a better model, but... Uh, I just want to show you guys my techniques, and maybe once this series is done, I'll do a legit model that I've done before and I know is around realistic measurements. All right, hopping into the roof. You're going to grab your line tool, and you're going to start basically doing the same lines you did for the foundation. So we're going to go straight across there because that's an overhang for the porch, and our overhang for the whole house is going to be a foot and a half. All right, so once you got that done, you're going to want to double click everything and go to the offset tool and grab a corner. It doesn't matter which corner you grab. Just go away from the house, 
1 foot 6 inches or 1.5 feet, hit enter and you should get that. That's our base for the roof. Now once you have that done, as you can see if you were to try to paint the roof when you're done this, it'll paint everything. So what I do uh, is I just make these little squares just to cut off where I want uh, my ceiling to be inside the model. So when I'm done, if I want to paint the ceiling, I can do that. Now this, this big room is one uh, shape. This porch area is one shape, and then the garage is one shape, just to make it easier. And then the walls are one shape, and then this border going around the whole house, which is the overhang, is one one shape also. So now I go I, t I go to a corner, hit the, hit the get the line tool, go up eight inches, and that'll be. Um, I can't remember if it's the soffit or the fascia. One of those two. I get them mixed up. The technical term for what I'm building right here. Oops. Um, yeah, it's either soffit or the fascia. I, I'm drawing a blank on which one's which right now. But once you get all those connected, you should get that. That's just our base for the roof. Now, once you get that done, we're going to do this outside trim. Since it's only an inch and a half, or I mean a foot and a half, sorry, uh, we're going to make two, actually one trim going around, and that'll go down four inches. Actually, I changed my mind. We're going to do we're going to do three, six inches for each one. All right, so just grab our offset tool and grab this corner right here. Hit six, and then one more time. Hit six. So each one of these is six inches. Good, good, good. Now uh, we're going to push this inner this inner line. As you can see, this let me select this. Uh, this border goes all the way around which is what we want all right so just get the push pull tool and pull that down to that bottom line so it should go down four inches grab this one go down two and that's how you do the trim uh, underneath the roof and as you can see it butts up right next to that exterior trim that I was talking about earlier just makes it look a little bit nicer you know what I'm saying and it goes around the whole house. A little bit more classy look. Alright, now to make the whole roof. For this part, for this front two for these front two bump outs, I'm actually gonna make that like a one A here and then a smaller A. And then for this part it's just gonna be one big roof. So let's get it helps when you make like uh guidelines for your roofs like this big square this lets me know that this whole area right here is going to be a roof so grab your protractor tool get it on the blue axis or axis hold shift and get on this corner you want to want to go out uh, on the red yeah, on the red axis click once just so it has a baseline to go off of and then you're going to go up 45 degrees and you're going to do that for each corner 45 degrees and this gives you the lines you're going to be making for your roof there you go now take your line tool connect the two tri that triangles with that line and then make the other triangle this roof is called a hip roof so these will come up and then this part will be the gable but they'll have returns on them so it'll be this roof will be all one piece all right so now you want to grab this uh, middle line sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't so if it doesn't work I'll show you how I do it so grab this middle line hit the M button for move and you want to grab it up see this did work and just stay on the blue axis or axis my bad and then usually I stick around 11 foot for the roof height so let's do 11 feet, and there you go. Now for this part, this part's really easy to get these two gables. Usually you want to stay with the same angle. So like this, this angle right here is going to,
push out to this uh, gable roof. Same with this angle right here. This will be moved over for this angle for the gable roof. You want to keep everything the same angle because if you don't, your faces won't match up and it'll just be a mess. So you want to grab this corner right here. You want to hit M and then control for uh, Windows users just to duplicate this line. You want to move it over to that corner and then delete the access line. And from there, hit the line tool and go straight over on the green axis. And you want to you want to uh, go to this edge right here. And then when you get it over to the appropriate length, you want to go down and then it should make a face. And then you want to you want to do that same process over here. Make this line so you know where to click your click your line there. So now it's all one face, all the same angle good grab this line right here same thing copy it move it over delete the extra now you can just push this out and there you go that's the basic roof figure now I, I only got a couple minutes left so let me speed this up uh, you're gonna get your tape measure tool and you're gonna go down eight inches all around for the framing of the roof if I don't if I run out of time I don't want to move too fast for you guys and uh, once you want to stay on this face, uh, so if you look, it's going straight down, same angle as this right here. I'm sorry if this is confusing. I'm trying to rush, but you want to stay on the gray line. If you get a green line or or anything else, you want to move it around until it's it's gray, so it's staying on this face. Once you get down down, you can delete the guidelines, and then you want to push this back so it's flush so one foot six inches so it's flush with this wall all right you want to do the same thing with this gable connect the lines push it back and delete the extra now once that's done I usually go up 1.5 feet again to give you the return line now from there you want to get you want to grab this corner right here and go straight up to that line, go straight over, and then straight back down, and it'll give you your return. Same thing over here. Grab that line, go straight down, and then boom. Gives you a nice return. Now, since we got trim on all the other walls, we're going to go ahead and offset this four inches, and same over here, four inches. Now you want to grab your siding color and get them done. And then you're going to grab your trim color. Then you're going to paint the trim all the same color. Make sure you get these upper parts. Sometimes I forget them underneath the roof. Okay. Just go around the whole house. Make sure all the all the trim is done. Actually, you're going to have to do all that too. So if I run out of time, I'll just... Speed it up. Now for the roofing color, I didn't get all the uh, underneath roof trim dumps. I'm just going to jump to the roofing real quick. I'm just going to grab the roofing, get the roofing done so I can end this video. And there you go. And that's your basic roof construction. Hope you guys liked that video. If you have any questions or if I move too fast, I apologize. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, this is video two. I'm going to be doing the windows and the doors next. Again, if you have any questions or anything, if I move too fast or if you got lost or something, feel free to message me. I'll try to help you any way I can. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like or a comment. And if you have any questions or concerns, don't be shy. Please leave a comment or message me directly. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the series. And thanks for watching. All right. See you in the next video.